Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Faker and Order video. Did I remember to hit the... Yeah, do not disturb. There you go. Because <laughs> I know someone's texting me right now. How's it going, everyone? I'm back for another Faker and Order video. Uh, today's video, I'm just going to be grinding because I just finished work and I literally just released a video saying, like, I can get back to making videos. These are one of the ones I wanted to make in that I was actually just doing the event <laughs> because I finished it. So that's going to be today's video. So let's just get in here and get some grinding on because I need to get to my 300,000 points. Um, by the way, if you're curious, I am planning to do a full recording of it. I just haven't had uh, time to actually like sit down and um, record me talking about it. It takes a lot of effort into it. But anyway, this is the final note of it. And this one uses, thankfully, a bunch of um, writer stuff. And in this case, I don't really need to, well, just in case, I think I, no, I can actually. Um, it doesn't matter who I use here. This is the team. This is a part of the Toon Squad here. This is what I've been using to take down this final note. <laughs> we got um, Halloween Liz Ryder. Um, we got uh, Taigong, yeah, Taigong Wong. Or Taigong Wang, oh, I can never know. That's why I checked. I was like, I can never say his last name correctly. Uh, that's a quaddle, and then that's it. The other three members are here to vibe, and that's it. And that's what I'm going to be using to take down this specific thing. This is the team I have been using. This takes this. Uh, this made me. <laughs> why, why am I so tired? It's because I'm right after work. Goddamn. Um, it took a lot of team planning around here before I finally found the perfect team to just completely take this over. So on the first set, um, you Tygon here, you buff him, because this skill himself right here uh, applies Divine and Demonic, and I think these dudes in the back are Demonic. And from there, you don't have to worry about much anymore. And then you go in here and you hit him with the three crit wonders. He goes boom. He goes, are you ready to go fishing? And he says, let the heavens open up, here's a big ass thing. And they're dead. Easy enough. Very easy to kill those first. And then here comes the second. And you're like, okay. This is where Liz comes in. Unfortunately, my Liz does not have this level 10. If she did, she'd be able to kill instantly, I'd say. But it's okay, because uh, Quetz has a little bit of support right there. You'll see here, why don't I just use the attack up? It's because that's not what we're using here. This is a very silly team build. Now, this should be able to kill only for the... <laughs> The fact that I have three riders and they all have 100% uh, damage being dealt right now. <laughs> Take that, mirror. Now, I know you're asking, how come you don't use someone else like maybe Ryder Kentoki or another 5-star? And you're like, I could use them. But I think for Team Goss, I have to use this team. And yeah, this, this is the end. This is where the story ends for Quetz. Uh, not for Quetz, for Shirazade. Because this will almost always guarantee kill. Because my Quetz is MP3. Let him know, girl. Lift her into the air. I am the flame. It's like the Quelto Charade or something like that. Boom. Easy enough. There's those Uno 3 2. I, it still really bothers me, by the way, that they messed that up on Quetz. If you don't know, what she's doing there at the end is supposed to be like the end of a- Damn, this is real nice art, by the way. I think we should all take time to just look at it for a bit. Tell me, what would you like from Mother? No comment. Repeat! Um, it's supposed to be the ending of a wrestling match. That's what she does the- And at the end of a wrestling match, you go one, two, three. For whatever reason, no devs on the JP side of Fago actually watch wrestling, and for some reason, I even I don't even think it's a Japan thing because I've seen some New Japan. I'm pretty sure they also do one, two, three. If someone who actually watches New Japan sees this, feel free to inform me. But in all the years that I've been watching wrestling, they have never done three, two, one. The match is over. Never, unless it was like a ten count match, in which case that's something completely different. Go here. Yeah, make sure to use that. Uh, there we go. I'll let her have the full uh, go up here. She's mad. I love this Liz so much. This Liz is really good. I think the next Liz is 
Uh, I can't wait for the next one because I like the the list is and the next list upcoming uh, idea and concept. But in terms of which of the Halloween Liz's do I like most? It's funny enough, it's Cinderella Liz. Because <laughs> she's, uh... I feel like they finally really nailed down the right energy to give to Liz for the Halloween stuff with, um, with this version of it. They decided to give one that was full-on into her delusions and embraces them and sings in the song, and I think it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just completely devastate this boss real quick. It's pretty impressive. There's not that much buffs. She's getting buffed by herself and I think, uh, Taigong as well, but... Um, anyway, yeah, I really wish they would fix that about her. I really wish they would do one, two, three. Because even in Lucha Libre, I'm pretty sure that they do one, two, three. I have never... Uno, dos, tres. They have never done three, two, one. You know who does three, two, one? Three, two, one, go! The Elite Beat Agents. That's who, who do who do three, two, one. Those are the only ones I acknowledge. There we go. Go back in here. Yeah, I like these. I really do like these nodes. Let me know how you feel about like these nodes that are like weirdly built. But I really do like them because obviously you can take them down pretty easily with um, double ditch, go full buster, use Arjun Alter, or even use Melu Sane, something like that. But I personally like to use this time to make really weird teams. <laughs> using very little supports or some form of support. Some supports that I usually never get to use. Um, and though, funny enough, uh, Taigong Wong is actually maybe one of my most used supports. Um, I feel weird trying to tell new players like, hey, it's, it, it's, a, it's an interesting balance because I don't think that you should probably summon on his banners because he's a, not a free-to-play, but he's always available in every single gacha, so there's always a chance to get him randomly. But he is really good. He's insanely good. Not the best writer support, because I think uh, Reigns is the best writer support. But I still think a really solid one. And lets you do a lot of silly team build kind of stuff. Especially with his uh, ability to kind of take out um, dudes in the front. That sounded wrong. The ability to use an MP. I'm just going to let it talk. Yes. I think Quetz is the one I've heard the most talk of any server just because of how much I've used her. <laughs> actually, that's not true. It, may, it might be... It's actually Scotty, I think. I think Scotty is like uh, Bond 13 for me, working on Bond 14. I love Scotty. I absolutely loved the quick meta when it came out. Um, uh... That'd actually be a very interesting topic of discussion. Which uh, metas is everyone's favorite for Fago? I can say with uh, pretty definitively, my least favorite meta was Merlin meta. <laughs> Not because I didn't have, obviously I don't have Merlin and you can use that to attack me and say it's because I don't have Merlin. It's because I just never really liked Merlin's um, Skill set. No, actually, it all comes down to the fact that he deal. He only gives like 20% MP charge instead of the 50 that Waver gave. So I was always on the team of like, whatever. I'll just use Waver for the, this entire meta and wait it out for Scotty. Um, which I think Scotty around that time that Merlin had come out had already been out on JP. So it was definitely a case of just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go invest heavy on her. That's the one I was gonna actually look forward to. It all worked out, I want to say. Um, still don't have now. Nowadays, I want to use Merlin a little bit more, but but yeah, I really don't like Merlin meta days, just because it caused like so many like bad times. I want to say it's the reason why we have break bars. It used to be that bosses had just had like a million HP, and now you could argue that break bars were going to be coming regardless. Because obviously if Castoria and Scotty released um, eventually, it would mean- and Merlin didn't exist and those still existed. It means that I, we only delayed it by like a year or so. Um, and it was inevitable that we were going to use those, because units were already dealing insane damage. But yeah, back in the day, it used to be a- uh, a threat when I remember when the oh we got a C. We see the C. I think it was yeah. Let's go. 
Who was it that appeared that made me go like, damn, that was a... Who was one of the ones with the early, like, giant million HP bar? A million HP bar. Yeah, 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 it was a million HP. It was, um... Artoria Lancer, Saber Lancer Alter. <laughs> Uh, she had the big old HP bar in a fight, I remember now. And it used to be a time where that was actually, like, fright frightening. But nowadays, you see that and people go like, oh man, that's awesome. Melusane does 2 million damage on hits. I can't wait to get this big in head. Get this big old hit in. Kintoki somehow dealing 5 million damage on a single hit. This will be the easiest fight that I've ever had in my life. So it just doesn't work out anymore. And I blame that on Merlin. <laughs> Even though he shouldn't take the full damage on that. There are also damage dealers that were maybe dealing too much damage at the time. Um, and then I think one of my favorite ones is Scotty. But I think it's also because... Uh, that's when I started actually heavy going into the channel and stuff like that. And investing a little bit more in it and doing more videos with my brother and stuff like that. Like, I still love that. Um, I forgot to do the, the support skill because of all my yapping. Um, but that Scotty summon video that we did all those years ago is still one of my favorites that we, I've ever, ever done. The the screaming of full screen, full screen, full screen. <laughs> still, baby. We've never been as funny as that. We've been chasing full screen our entire uh, video making careers. But yeah, I'd be interested to hear. Maybe, maybe if I write down my points, I can talk about it. Because I think there are some pretty distinct metas in Fugo that you can talk about. Uh, Threads? Gracias! Yeah, that's very good, Quetz. Man, I love Quetz. This is a Quetz uh, safe zone, if you are unaware. Don't come at me with your anti Quetz bias. This will be the last one that we'll do here, so. Just because I just need to do something quickly before. Uh, it became near impossible for me to record a video late at night. It's not that it's near impossible, I just feel bad whenever I do it. Because I don't want to wake up anybody in the house. So while everyone is currently awake, that's when I like to do it. Um, oh, I love when he drops the fishing rod. He's such a cool unit. I would never have fi figured that I would love Tygon along as much as I did, but I do. It's crazy. Never one thing. I always get surprised by Fugo about the, which ones are the ones I'm actually gonna super like due to story stuff and all that. But I like them in the event. I like that he was like a fraud of some kind. I say it lovingly. Not that he actually think that he's like not one of the best at what he does or something. Jigo. Jigo! Little writer here can I <laughs> It's also a really good animation. Again, I think they did a real good job with this list. I love this list. Can't wait for the next one on Halloween. Alright. Quetz. In the video. I think with that uh, most recent drop, I can actually get the 50% MP charger thing. Uh, die, 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 die. Need more height. She says it so much. <laughs> she says it so much. Anyway. Woo! Foe! Let's go! Golden foe! Let's see, what do I still need from the shop? Uh, this one I can just pick up. I can get Bakken, I don't know what you're talking about at me right now, but I need to pick up the Sash of Remembrance from Moriarty. Some goddamn, I have a lot of these stuff. Evil Bone. Give me them bones. Boy. Give me your bones. All right, I think that's good for now. I'm still so far away. <gasps> all back. I love this menu. It's good enough to know that my dogs are back. You're still talking to me. Yeah, I'm pretty close to being haunted, I would say. But yeah, that's the end of the video for today. I just wanted to make sure to actually just remember to release a video. And uh, if you were curious about, hey, where's the other ones? I said, they're being worked on. They're, they're, they're going to get there eventually. Just give me some time. 
hopefully tomorrow I'll actually be able to record and do all that stuff. And then at some point, also try and uh, find a perfect time for when me and my brother have time to try and record this difficulty fight. I don't know what, I haven't done it. Uh, and we can mess around and see if we can find some kind of team to be beat that one as well. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Enjoy your day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.